A tweet from Florida Surgeon General Dr. Joseph Latipo about COVID-19 mRNA vaccines was reportedly taken down and then later reinstated. So the Friday tweet linked to guidance on the Florida Department of Health website, which officially recommends against vaccination for young men after analysis done by that same Florida Health Department found an 84 percent increase in the relative incidence of cardiac related deaths among males 18 to 39 years old within 20 days following mRNA vaccination. Again, that was conducted by the Florida Department of Health. That's just their analysis. Yeah, the tweet was reportedly taken down on Saturday for violating Twitter's policies and then restored later that morning. Latipo responded to the situation on Fox News. Let's take a look. There's been so much confusion, as you know, over the past few years that people have trouble sometimes even identifying when something has so clearly crossed the line. Yeah, so some of the critique here has been that it's not a, you know, controlled scientific study it was an analysis that was done on you know democrat you know data collected within state some people have pointed to the fact that data from other states where there is are higher vaccination rates haven't shown the same spike in um you know health risks for that age group and so at very least more research needs to be done and the concern is obviously that prematurely putting out information that might discourage people from getting vaccinated could put them at more risk, especially as we are looking toward the winter and a more harmful wave being anticipated if they don't go ahead and protect themselves with the tools that we have available. Yeah, uh, look, I th th that's a pretty significant increase that this analysis found. It would surprise me if that finding stood up to further analysis. Um, how I, I, I don't particularly think um, the vaccines are nearly that dangerous, even for that age group. All that said, I, I can't see much justification in taking down discussion of that. It, it is a scientific analysis done by scientific yeah. people. It might be wrong. I mean, do we really know? We don't, we do, like, we don't, we don't know for certain that it's wrong. Yeah, I, I think would, it I, might. I'm <laughs> curious to see scientists engaging with it. I mean, right. I, I want to know, look, because I'm not interested in pretending that it's not true if it is. And I, and I think that's part of the issue that's been going on here is that a failure to trust the public with information has led people to withhold information from the public that later leads into public distrust so that there's now no sources that anybody will find to be credible. Well, and Twitter is exactly doing this. So they took this yeah. down, and then they're like, eh, actually, okay, we're putting it back up. They're just making, they're eroding, I mean, the, the platforms have eroded trust in the, for, for good reason. Like, who thinks that the people who make content moderation decisions at Twitter and Facebook have any idea more than the rest of us you know, what should be allowed to yeah. be up or not? Uh, I, I think Twitter has, in some ways, done a better job than Facebook handling some of these subjects, but this is a, a great one to the contrary. So they took it down, and then, and then they said... We shouldn't have done that. They put it back up. It's just, and also, like, at this point, holding back information like this from people has a very what are you hiding kind of quality to it. Mm -hmm. um, if, if, you, if you don't trust people at some, I mean, if we've been through everything, like, how many times do gatekeeper type people have to learn the lesson that when you try to vigorously suppress information, there are a lot, some people just get more suspicious or they get more determined to find that information. Yes. And look, this is the, you know, D Florida uh, Department of Public Health. I mean, this is, this is as mainstream as it gets. They can post whatever they want on their state websites. I mean, this is, this isn't exactly one of those instances where you can kind of de-platform someone and they go away anyway, even if that were your goal. Right. And, you know, I got to say, in my own experience of covering COVID on my own shows, I'll have someone on like Vinay Prasad, people will get very mad. I'll have someone else on that's recommended from the quote unquote other side of things. I had you and Walker Bagman together in one episode, but most frequently the people who know the most on opposite sides of the issue almost never agreed to be on the show at the same time and talk to each other about it. And that would be the quickest way to find out what is actually mm -hmm. true. Cause otherwise you're relying on the, the host to, you know, do a secondhand version of the arguments that the other side would be making and, and still manning it to the best of their ability, which is never going to be well, as good. And leaving stuff on Twitter, I got to say, being able to at least engage with it in this public discourse is the closest a lot of folks are going to get to be able to 
engage directly. And you can find pretty <laughs> persuasive arguments from extremely knowledgeable people, on the people who are no, more knowledgeable than you and I, yeah. who have radically opposite views on this yes. subject. And it's, That's why it's so confusing. It's, uh, and, and we have to recall that uh, vaccine recommendations and guidance, are di there are other countries in our kind of peer groups who are not recommending vaccines for young people anymore. Uh, most, and mostly this is not because they're finding some very serious harm, but because they're finding so little benefit right. that it doesn't really make sense. Right. And, and so again, respected scientists, again, if you're, if you're a liberal, like respected liberal, not conservative, not like Ron DeSantis or something, but liberal scientific health authorities in other countries have reached somewhat significantly different conclusions about what to recommend, what policies to have, and it is not it is not anti-science. It is not like wanting people to die. It's not like yeah. Florida's experiment in human sacrifice to to draw make somewhat different distinctions or to look at the data and have somewhat different conclusions. Yeah, it's worth noting again that this isn't a clinical trial. Uh, yeah. It's a relatively small sample size. I think people were saying online that it was uh, 20 deaths in question. Uh, Joseph Ladapo uh, did a follow-up tweet where he said there's 77 deaths in question, which is larger, but still a relatively small sample size. And look, I think I, I did a quick perusal through the quote tweets and responses to see what the counter arguments are. I, I want to see more of that. Like, yeah. if, if there's a problem here, I really encourage people not to say you're just a dumb shill who hates science. Yeah. Because none of us learn from that. If you have an argument to make, please make the argument and you know, vet this mm -hmm. in, the, in the court of public opinion. Actually, so that was one of the here. most helpful things when, um, I, I can't recall her name, uh, was making the claims about, um, I mean, I know her name, I'm just blanking on it right now, <laughs> but uh, it was making the claims about how vaccines were causing miscarriages. Mm -hmm. um, Naomi? Wolf? Wolf, yes, that's it. I get Naomi Wolf and Naomi Klein confused. Yeah, which is, Naomi Klein doesn't love that. No, I, I'm sure she doesn't. <laughs> Naomi Wolf was making that, and Naomi Watts, we'll get her in there. Um, <laughs> Naomi Wolf was making that claim, and then, and then actually what was helpful was that people were quote tweeting that and saying actually this analysis is wrong, including people who are otherwise very skeptical of vaccines, mm -hmm. which carries a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. When Alex Berenson says, Love Naomi Wolf, but she mm -hmm. did not read this correctly. Mm -hmm. That means something. Yeah. So that's a good argument for leaving this stuff on Twitter and yeah. not taking, not having the ban hammer. I think I agree. Hmm. Yeah. Well, we'll have more rising for you after this.